Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's uh, Rad from Radku Tarot. And uh, in this whole video, we're going to look into Aquarius uh, Sun, Moon, and also Aquarius Rising. Weekly general tarot reading January 24th up until uh, January 30th, uh, 2022. And uh, if you do wish to skip the draw from your for your stars and guys, you can definitely do that using the timestamp in the uh, description down below. Uh, other than that, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel, uh, make sure you do subscribe for it, leave a like and uh, hit the notification bell so you do not miss uh, any of our weekly uploads and uh, as well uh, live streams. So with that being said, let's make the cut and uh, the first card for you, Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius, that is going to be the Four of, uh, the four of Cups. Followed by the next one here, which stands as uh, the Empress. Moving next, we do have uh, the King of Wands. Followed by uh, the fourth card of your spread, which uh, stands as uh, the uh, Five of uh, the Five of Cups. And the last card of your spread that is going to be the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So I'm going to draw one more card for uh, the King of Wands here. Uh, so I will be able to tell you a little bit more about this person because uh, the card afterward is very important. We do have some kind of a transition happening because of this person here. And the card is going to be uh, the Ace of Swords. All right. So that's going to do it for the draw. And now let's uh, jump right away into the reading uh, itself. All right, guys, so you can see your spread on the screen here. And uh, right away, the most important thing uh, that's uh, for us Aquarius, and I'm saying us because I'm Aquarius rising as well. Um, uh, the most important thing for us this week is going to be the conversations we are going to have with that person. Give me a second. Uh, so with that person over here, okay? That takes place towards the middle of the week uh, because these conversations are going to be uh, they're going to be very, very important for us. And uh, it doesn't look like that we are going to like what that person has to say to us in one or another way, either for business or either for relationship. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, at the end of the day, we will have to put with it because that person we will realize that they are speaking the truth as the truth is because there is um, only one truth and there is only one way to say it even if we are kind of like how can i put it into words touchy whenever we are talking with that individual now other than that uh, the week uh, looks uh, kind of good especially the start of the week here as uh, we start the week with the four of uh, with the four of swords uh, the four of wands i'm sorry so we are starting here the week with the four of wands and that uh, kind of divulges that we are going to be able to get a lot of things done simply at the start of the weekend we are to accomplish um how can i put it into words uh finalization or you we are gonna finish a uh, important cycles of growth at the very very start of it so we can expect uh, <clears throat> their uh, our work to be very successful and as well our approach toward other people to be very successful <clears throat> to set really important milestones into our projects and into our relationships as well with other people here at the very very start of the week especially with people because the card it is more related to communication not communications but interactions i'm sorry with uh, with others rather than working solo although the uh, cycles of growth are going to be personal cycles of growth so aquarius had you spent a lot of efforts and time to chase something either person or to chase and uh, to see a, a project through that may very well happen here at the start of this week 24th of january up until 30th of january 2022 uh, and uh, one more thing is giving us incentive or me giving me incentive to think that that's the case and this is the empress 
on uh, the uh, second position which means that at the early stages of the week towards the uh, the middle of the week not just only we're going to feel comfortable into our environment meaning being pleased with how our uh, romantic life is developing as well how our uh, career is developing but also that card speaks that we are going to start planning for the future and those plans are going to be rather big plans although what the other incentive we're going to feel at that point it is that we have to take a little bit of a break so we can make the most not just only benign but as well um efficient maybe is the word uh, plans and decisions for the future and under efficient I mean decisions and plans that are going to not just only work for us but they are going to work for everybody around because also another real realization at that stage of the week for us is going to be that the results of these plans may those results be bitter or sweet because they can go either way at that stage are going to be ours to bear and for that reason the decisions and the plans we would want to make for the future they need to be as mature as they can be and for that reason we need to withdraw from the midst of activities so we are unaffected by those activities and we make those decisions and those plans objectively here but the expectation for the this stage of the week which is from mid to, uh, from early to mid uh, to mid of the week is uh, that we are to be quite enjoying within our domain and it is likely that our career and like i said romantic life to uh, develop in a quite of a pleasant fashion to develop in a quite of a pleasant way for us and uh, that's uh, for to a certain extent is going to be ruined by the appearance of that individual king of uh, wands with the ace of swords that happens right at the middle of the week so this person comes about they are very indomitable and they do not take uh, how can I put it into words? Ignorance uh, for uh, for an attitude. By definition, these people are very cheerful and they do like to enjoy life as life is, meaning that they like to socialize, they like to go out on parties as well, discos if you will. Uh, they very much like to entertain themselves and no matter what the situation is, they like to keep up the positive attitude around. But as the Ace of Swords is catalyzing the uh, King of Wands, they are to, div to divulge something very important now and there's something very very important that may concern your current uh, relationship or it may concern your current job and it will be the undeniable truth with that information that this person is to divulge you divulge you you will know where you are heading and above everything else as well how you are heading to that uh, to that point so like i said this information can vary for some of you could be something milder for others it could be something very very severe uh simple example of both you are to be approached from your supervisor and they are telling you that you know that project cannot rely on this funding undeniable truth that makes you feel not well but it's not the end of the world as severe as you are approached from your supervisor and they are telling you that this project is shutting down undeniable truth you can't do anything about it but you will know the grand scheme of things after that information comes your way you will know the true diagnosis over uh, over your standing and in, in generally over your environment and based on that um, on that knowledge the five of cups uh, manifests for you so the five of cups it's a card here showing that from the mid stages after you learn that information to the end stages you will try to cope with it and under trying i mean that although the, the uh, your standing is not going to be ideal okay and you're definitely going to feel disappointed that is most definitely from the information coming your way but also in a more severe cases more extreme cases for you you guys will or we guys are going to feel uh, we lost something out there uh <clears throat> 
the loss or the disappointment actually is not going to be as severe enough to let to make us give up in the grand scheme of things like for example with the information it's about our love life and we are disappointed of our love life in general that disappointment and even sense of loss that we have lost somebody is not going to be enough to make us give up on love itself and same thing about career even if the project is shutting down that is not going to, and we are sensing a loss about that this isn't going to be enough to make us give up on us chasing the career path we want and uh, that is the personal transformation that we have to undergo from the mid to the end stages of the week that so uh, we just have to accept that you know things go south uh, things doesn't always work the way we want them to work but eventually should we can should should we be consistent pers persistent and tenacious enough eventually we are going to get where we want to be and maybe that opportunity shows up at the end of the week right after we pick up ourselves together and uh we are to get back on our feet because we do have the page of pentacles now i haven't draw the additional card here because i didn't knew if that page is a person or it's an, an event it could go both ways because uh through the manifestation of the page of pentacles we are to face something to hold on into like for example new project that is very reminiscent to the one that was shut down that is just for example or if we found out really nasty tr tr truth about the person we are dating and we don't want to date that person anymore we are to find with the pay under the page of pentacles we are to find probably somebody to date with page of pentacles here the only certain thing that divulges it is that we are to identify an aspect of importance and an aspect of, of worth that aspect like i said it could be project job it could be person that we want to date with and, and so on and so forth but what is going to be a uh, very appealing healing from that aspect it is that we are going to see that this time around it will worth it all of it the dating will worth it the project will worth it the job is going to worth it and that's why i did not draw an additional card for the page of pentacles uh and one last thing should that happen to be a person we find worth worthy or that is going to worth dating with most likely that person is going to be somebody we already know in fact somebody we have a fairly good friendship with and that friendship has a chance to transcend into something uh, obviously more so with that being said aquarius uh, this was our weekly general tarot reading guys for uh, january 24th up until january 30th 2022 hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we are to see each other next time until then bye